Hi there, Chris Betcher here. I'd like you to meet my friend Sally, or at least that's what I'll call her. Uh, Sally is from Google Body Browser, and I found her in the Google Labs when I was just browsing around there the other day. Uh, this is a really neat new tool from Google called Body Browser. It's not for the prime time, it's still in development, but very interesting. I know a lot of teachers out there teach the human body as one of their units, so I can imagine this being really useful. Uh, what we have here is a page with this Sally, this 3D figure, and if I click my mouse, I can drag and I can rotate Sally around an axis like that, and I can see the human body from all different angles. Well, it gets better than that. If I grab this slider down here and just simply slide it down the page, I can remove the top layer, or remove the muscle layer, or remove the bones, or remove the organs, and so on, all the way down through the respiratory system, down to the nervous system, until I have nothing at all. So, and I can bring those layers back up. So that's pretty cool. If I was to zoom in on this body, and you can see I can rotate that while it's uh, partially displayed, if I was to uh, zoom in either by clicking the plus sign here, or, or I'll just drag that down a bit, or I can use my mouse um, scroll wheel to just scroll in, you can see I can actually zoom in and look around like that as well. That's pretty neat. So uh, it's a great way to explore the human body. Uh, if, uh, let me just put everything back to normal again. So let's just back off a little bit from Sally so she can stand back there. Uh, if you ch click this little vertical bar down here, this is a different way of viewing it. What that does is it puts a horizontal slider across each of the uh, component parts of the body. So if I slide this one across, you can see that it removes that layer. If I slide the muscles across, it removes that layer. And the, what this allows you to do is to selectively remove layers. So if I take away, say, everything, uh, everything except the skeleton, for example, I now have just the human skeleton. So that's pretty useful. Um, I know a lot of science classes would find that useful instead of having the Mr. Bones hanging in the in the lab. Um, kids could go and explore this. Uh, and you can bring individual layers up. So if I just want to see the skeleton with the, uh, the circulatory system, the veins and the arteries and whatnot, there they are. And again, if you rotate that, you see the whole thing in 3D. Interesting to see there where the heart is in the rib cage. And if I just zoom in on Whoa, maybe a little too far. Uh, if I just zoom in on that, you can see that there is the heart inside the rib cage there. So a pretty interesting way of viewing stuff about the human body. Let me just back off again. Whoops, wrong way. Um, now, just the other thing worth knowing, let me just turn that off for a moment to simplify things. Down the bottom it says labels off, and if I click it, it now says labels on, and you can see that there are now labels on the human body, and as I rotate, you can see the labels follow the skeleton around. So that's pretty neat if I wanna know what all the bits and pieces are called. Let's just turn the labels off again, because if I click on a single bone, it actually uh, fades out the rest of the figure and only highlights that bone, and this one's telling me that's called the humerus, although it's not that funny. And you can see I can, rot like that joke, and you can see I can rotate the skeleton around like so, and to get the full body back, you just click anywhere outside and it comes back. So great way to explore the human body. Now I will just point out, let me just bring Sally all the way back here because she looks kind of better like that. Um, and I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. Worth knowing, uh, a couple of things I discovered by trial and error, if you take Sally and drag her down the page, she will eventually get to a point where she just rotates around her head and you can get top view like so. And likewise, if you drag Sally up the page, she gets to a point where she starts to tilt that way, and then you can see from the other angle. So, so great way to sort of browse around there. So there you go. That is Google Body Browser. Take a look at it, check it out. Oh, before, you, before I go, I should point out that Body Browser is a HTML5 application and only works in the latest Google, or the latest browsers. I'm using Google uh, Chrome here because it's um, obviously designed for it. Uh, it will work in Firefox Beta, if you're running the absolute latest beta of that. Uh, it won't work in regular Firefox, won't work in um, Safari, won't work in Internet Explorer. So you need to have a state-of-the-art browser for this to happen. But if you can get, one, get your hands on one of those, it's pretty neat. Enjoy.